that what? Of that thing. Not in Jesus Christ, but in his name. What is a name? A name is... Shem. Shem. Right? Shem. A name. And what is a name? What we say a name? A name is the character of a person or thing. A name speaks about the wholeness of what that thing is or who that person is. A name speaks about the entirety of that thing or person. So now Paul, Paul going on. Where I reach? Where did I reach? Okay. Number seven. Now here, here now here, um, number six. Your glory in is not good. No, you not, or know ye not that a little levy, level up, level yet, the what? A little leaven, levy yet, the whole what? The whole lamp. Now when you read that like that, sometimes you don't really get it clear because this is all English. Okay, but I want to break it down. Purge out therefore the old leaven, that ye may be a new lamp, as ye are unleavened. For even Christ, our Passover, is what? Sanctified for what? For us. So now we're seeing this thing which we call leaven, which we know as what? Yeast. When you're breaking bread, what you just do? When you want the bread to look like much, what you do? Yeah. You what? You put yeast in that bread. And when you put yeast in the bread, what happened to the bread? It rises. It swell. So now what Paul is literally saying is that this behavior that they were partaking in, they were what? They were saying it is good. They were proud. They were puffed up. They were blown up. Because why? They had now, they were following Jesus Christ. So now they were distinct in that community and people were looking up to them because they seemed to have what? This sort of what? Um, privileged position in him who they all knew was risen. He wasn't some kind of fictitious Greco-Roman uh, Isis or or Zeus or someone of them. This was Yeshua Mashiach who they feel. And, and, and Paul, he talked about it in 1 Corinthians 15. They touched him. They looked at him. They touched the hole in his hand. The hole that signifies the marriage that will now what? That is now going to be made what? One. Right? This marriage that is now going to culminate that which is. So now look at something. So, Yeshua and Paul, who is speaking about him who they knew, is not somebody fictitious. They knew him. They touched him. They relate with him. And he said, no, you know who he is. But now because you feel you're proud and you have access, you're behaving in such, with such debauchery. You're behaving in sexual orgies. You are behaving like if you don't care. Look at our culture today. We live in New York City, one of the greatest country in the world. Yet New York City, the money capital of the world, people will pass somebody lying on the street, a person lying on the street and look at them like if they are paper. Paper. They're going to stamp upon them. People are passing and going by looking at children who are being trafficked. In pornography, sexual sales. And it's all to the what end? These children now become a product of what? Monetary gain. And we don't care. We pay it no man. We become so puffed up in ourselves. We are seeing our system, our culture is just continuing to be worsened with the whole idea that all what we do, we are saved and it's for us for no more. That sounds familiar. It's very Judaic. That's what the Jews think. As for no more. They don't pro propel the gospel. They don't propel Torah. They don't teach Torah to anyone that is outside of who? Israel. Which is not what Yahweh told Moshe, um, Abraham. Right? He tell Abraham, leave your door open. Leave your door open. Sit at your doorpost and what? 
Welcome them. Welcome them into it, into the house. Shah. Shah is what? Prince. 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 Shah. He's the prince of what? The house. The Basai. You see? In this name, Shah. Shah is prince. He is the prince of what? The house. He's the prince who is the son of the house. And this son, you can only know the father through the through the son. This is why the Torah wasn't open with an aleph. It was open with a bet. Because it's only when you find the son, you can find the father. Always remember that. So now Yeshua is showing something here. This is why he is making this last supper of great importance and significance. Something that they knew and he said, you know, pass this on. And we see in, um, when you really read Exodus, you'll see now he said, pass this on. Pass it on. Let us be as a remembrance. Every time you did retell this Haggadah, this story, this this recite this story, make it known, make it plain, make this say that this order of event, make it plain to all who come and you invite to Shabbat to pass over. Let it be a remembrance that they are going to leave your dwelling, leave your place, knowing that this is not just taking communion, this is not just breaking of the bread and drinking of the wine. Or the blood of Yeshua. This is an event that is bringing to remembrance that this person, this Basa, is a real man. Who what? Who died? The wine that you drink is the blood that was shed. The wine that you are now going to partake on. This is the wine of redemption. The third cup. That is now poured out for you. His blood is poured out for you. And now when you accept that cup and you drink of that cup, you are saying, I am setting my life apart for who? For you. And he said, no, I will not drink of this cup anymore with you. You're going to see that in Corinthians, right? I wouldn't drink of this cup with you anytime. You know why? Until I come again. Because when a man proposed to a woman in Hebraic culture and he bring that wine and he put it there and before she drink of it he washes his, her feet in saying I am making a declaration to you and to your father and to your household and to my household that I am willing to die for you woman this is what men do in the Hebraic culture and when they do that, it's not like they're marrying today or tomorrow. They're doing this now and they're saying, this one represents my blood. This wine represents my life. And my life, as you drink this cup of wine, is representative of my entire breath that I will continue to do for you. So now, all right, where is seven, right? Seven. Yeah. Pour out, therefore, the old leaven, that he may be a new lump, as ye are unleavened. For even Christ, our Passover, is sanctified for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast, not with what? Not with leaven, neither with the leaven of malice and with wickedness, but with the what? Unleavened bread of what? San sincerity and truth. and truth. I wrote unto you in an epistle not to um, comp company with what? Fornicators. Yet not altogether with the fornicators of what? This world. Or with the what? Covicious or extortioners or with idolaters. For then must he need go out of the world. But now I have written unto you not to keep company. If any man that is called a what? Brother. Be a fornicator or covetous or an idolater or a railer or a drunkard or an extortioner with such and one not to what? 
not to eat his basar. This is what you're talking about. Meaning, this union here, that what we are going to partake in of this evening, this basar, you can't eat with any and anybody. You can't eat with the world. No man must eat of his flesh if they're not his bride. You see, now, I can't know your heart. He's, this is why he said now. Let's go into 1 Corinthians 11. Let's go into 1 Corinthians 11. 1 Corinthians 11. Found it? Yeah. All right, read from, um, all right, here, here, read from um, verse 23. For I have received of the Lord that which was, that which also I delivered unto you. Now Paul is speaking, that which he received from the Lord, that which he has delivered unto you. That the Lord, Yeshua Mashiach, the same night in which he was, what? Betrayed. Took the matzah. Take the bread. I would put bread there, but it's the matzah. The, the bread that has no leaven. The bread that has spot or colors and holes because he was wounded for our transgression. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and by his stripes we were. Were past tense, right? Were meaning that we have the healing of what eternality. We are living in eternality when we accept or receive who Yeshua Mashiach. And when he has given thanks, he break it and said, "Take it. This is my body, which is broken for you. This do in what zakar of me remembrance." After the same manner. Also he took the cup which he 